Oh, we once they have a ton to ask an oscillating table fan that I bought yesterday at Bed Bath & Beyond store. And I, last Friday, bought the stand fan there, which is the last code with the remote control. And the problem with it is that it's, very no it's making a lot of air noise because the center of the blade that goes and attaches onto the motor had a hole, had a hole but was drilled out too big, so that was a defect. And then yesterday, I returned that fan and I exchanged it for a table fan since they're... Only two stand fans that are boxed up. One of them had an open return, was returned, and they're almost gone, so I decided to go with the table fan instead, since there's a lot of boxes left, and I did, there was a display one, except that it uses the older logo where all the words are, letters are capitalized, and I did try, and it, it, it's, the noise is a good, better, so here it is put together. I, this is the instruction manual here. And it does, and the only part you really need to use is this part here and this one, since I'm not sh since it they all came apart when I got it. It was in a flat box with all the parts disassembled. So that's useful manual. And again, I said that they changed the logo here by card that in. You got the three speed. It's quieter. And I did have the coupon, so that made the price even cheaper. And it said that the spinner here is black instead of a gray color. So I had the coupon that I decided to use. That's going to be a waste not to use this. So I had to decide to use it on buying new fans. That's why I got instead because the stand fan was too loud. And that, and I. Two hours is a good thing because I wasn't able to sleep with the noisy fans, but this one is better. And it's turned high here. Okay, that's with my Tonchuasco Ostling Table Fan. Goodbye.